Hello, good evening. Uh, this is uh, Ruth Pasuela from Curval.com and uh, in this video today I'm going to show you how to write DAX measures in Power BI quickly. Yeah, so if you are using Power BI more and more, which I hope that you're doing and enjoying, uh, you have probably noticed that it takes quite a long time to write the measures if you are not if you don't know uh, the, the tricks and that's what I'm hoping to do today. So without any further ado, let's look at it. So here we have a blank report, but um, th there is uh, already data here from Google Analytics. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to write a simple measure to calculate the number of cities that we have in our geographical or locational table. So to create a new measure, click on here. And now the best thing to do is don't touch anything, just write because then it will erase the measure and the equal. You want to give it a proper name so you know what it is. So we just write directly while it's still blue number of unique cities try to use spaces uh, because it will make it easier to read um, so what we're going to do now is a simple calculate formula to so what you normally would do is you start writing and as you can see it appears here the options that you have. So the more you write, uh, the less options you get, of course. So what you can do, of course, is write everything. So in the bracket, it takes forever. You don't want to do that. What you want to do is you start writing and then you look and say, oh, calculate is the first one and that's the one that we want. And then you press tab and then Power BI will write it for you, which is very, very nice. So we write calculate, and now we want to calculate the number the unique cities, city ID. So if we start writing, we know that the column is called city ID. As you see, uh, Power BI stops giving me any options. So with C, this is okay. It's, it gives me a lot of functions. I write one more and then it gives me a little bit more. But then when I write, what this means is that we're doing something wrong. That Power BI already knows that what you're trying to do is not possible. So every time you run out of options, that means that nothing shows up here. It means that you're trying to do something that is not allowed. So in this case, we cannot use calculate with a column, a naked column. You have to have uh, the sum or something or the count of something. So in this case, we want to calculate the number of cities. So that is a number. So we will do a count. So, and then tab. And now I know that I have a city ID in a lot of places, in a lot of these uh, tables that you will see here. So what I did before, it was I write, wrote the name of the table and then I found the city ID and it took for absolutely ever to do it. So you don't actually need to do that. If you know that your column is CTID, you write that. And then Power BI will go and look and say, oh, okay, these are the tables that you have CTID on. Which one do you want? So what you do is say, okay, I want to have CTID from the geographical table. So with the arrows, you use the arrow down and when you get there you press tab and it will write it for you which is very nice close the bracket and now it depends if you have a 
US or UK setting or you have the European setting or the rest of the world perhaps setting, I'm not sure. Um, then you write a comma or semicolon. So in this computer I have the US setting, so it is a comma. And you see when I write a comma that the functions, the available functions showed up. That means that I'm doing the right thing because when I write a semicolon, nothing else happens. That means that Power BI is telling me, hey, this is wrong, you cannot do that, it's not allowed. So we write a comma and uh, let's say we can filter by country Sweden. So again, you know that the table is called country, so you write country and then it says, okay, you have two tables, one geological and the site speed, which one do you want? We want the first one, so tab and then you write Sweden. And then if you don't close the tab and you press enter, it will add it for you. If you add one more than you need and press enter, it will complain and say the syntax is incorrect. It will tell you even that, okay, there's one bracket too many. So do you see the red mark also? So unfortunately, it doesn't take it away by itself. You have to do it yourself. So you just press it. So every time you just click on new measure without selecting any table, what it will do, Power BI will, will always add the measure on the first table that you have, which, well, we cannot guess what you were thinking. So it's just actually normal. Um, so what you have to do is you go here to modeling and then here you can choose which table you want actually the formula to be at. So if you are counting unique cities, probably you want it to have in your geographical table, but it depends on what you're actually trying to achieve. Another interesting uh, functionality here is that, you know, this is a very, very simple formula, but uh, the more you work with DAX, you will write more and more complex formulas and it will get harder and harder to read. So what you can do is you can actually format the way the DAX measure looks like. So if we want to, for example, separate, we have the calculates and we say, okay, if you press Alt, Enter, it will go into a new row. And then if you press again there, Alt, Enter. So, and then this is the bracket of calculate, so you probably want to have it in, a, in your own, in its own row. So there you have it, now it's a little bit easier to read. So it says, from the table country, filter by Sweden. So you will see what DAX does is just gets a table and then it's only Sweden in there. And then it says, okay, now that you have that, count the city ID. And that's what the calculate actually is telling it to do. Um, so, if you've done everything right, it just doesn't complain. It doesn't do anything, which is good news or not, perhaps. Let's see. Oh. Oh, CTID is not, is not. The number is the text. There you go. Change it to text. And here we have we have 46 unique series in our records. Um, 
another cool thing that I didn't show you is that uh, when you write um, a function, what Power BI does is um, it gives you the structure of the, the function. Would you actually what Power BI is expecting you to input? So here, for example, for calculate, it says that you have to have an expression, and that means it not a naked column. You have to have like a sum or a count or whatever it was, and then it tells you that you can add filters afterwards. So this is very useful. I mean, you have it also in Excel. You have to press the FX button to actually see it to, to get that help. Here it comes automatically. So this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you are writing now like super fast uh, measures so you get more and more effective. And uh, if you like it, please let me know. Or if you have any questions, uh, use the comment box. Hope you have a nice evening. Bye.